Huh. You know, one of these days, May, you're really gonna have to tell somebody about these horrific dreams you keep happening. You keep having, I mean. I mean, they keep happening, but also the ones that you're having. Also, Eclipse! Oh boy. It's looking like these giant areas are becoming even more gigantic and less linear. And in some instances, most would say that's a good thing. Ah, yes, increase the quasical challenge of the situation, but truly, it just means there's more places for me to get lost and look foolish. As I once again begin my never-ending search for phantom musicians, and I guess hit my head on things. Also, what was that? I don't know what that was, <laughs> but uh, it, it concerns me. Alright, got the violin, we've got the tuba. Just need the accordion and whatever the other one was. <laughs> a flute? No, it was a saxophone. Ah, yes. I knew it was a wind instrument, if nothing else. That gets me something resembling points, I think. Hello? Nope, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Small chunk of land that ultimately leads to absolutely nothing. That is my... That is my favorite thing. Okay, hang on here. Up top. Okay. Maybe if I... Do this! Okay, no. I... Made an attempt! Ah, here we go. Here's another one. Accordion powers obtained! Oh, there we go. It's a fish. That's the thing that was flying around being all fish-like. Oh, dear. Alright. Should I be at all concerned by the fact that, uh... These dreams are becoming significantly more abstract in their shapes? I mean, the first dream looked straight up just like a normal, like, parking lot sort of thing. This whole situation is a bit more, I don't know... MC Escher, if you know what I'm saying. We're, we're, we're slowly building towards it. I'm mildly concerned by that whole... Th that, by that idea, if I'm being honest. Okay, surely I can stand on that. Okay. Seemed like I slipped through it at one point there. There we go. Not using our natural cat-like abilities of hop, skip, and jump. We will find the final chapter here. Final piece of the puzzle. Hopefully, I'm not just going back to where I started. Ah, wait, hang on, hang on. Always a good sign. All right, never mind. That's exactly where I started, so that was, uh, not great. But we have another place we can go. And not until this final pathway has been shown to be a dead end is all hope truly lost. So don't even worry. Cool your biscuits. Everything's gonna work out great. Y'all got nothing to even worry about. See, there we go. Found it. Here we go, he's got a saxophone going full power. And now we just need to be attacked by some horrible monstrosity and everything is good. Okay, you ate the fish! What even is that? For a moment it looked like a burrowing snagret from Pikmin, but then it had then it had wings, so I guess it I guess it isn't that. I mean it was unlikely that it was that to begin with, but you know what I meant. These sounds are not the usual sounds after I have my nightmares. Hmm. That's mildly concerning. But it does not matter, for I have awakened. Let us check the news. And by the news, I mean the, to the dudes with Tood. Hello, Sharkle. <laughs> Last night inspired me. For longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Alright, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Away message. Planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Culligan, National Astronomy, Astronomy Agency. Fascinating! Well, from my recollection... The name of the game is I gotta go do ghost hunty nonsensey stuff with the friends. 
And I guess I choose which one I want to go with first, and I guess I'm going to go with Angus, because I've never gotten to hang out with him one-on-one -on -one before. At least not as extensively as the other two. Hello. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah. Weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Ooh, that's incredibly relatable. Well, maybe you need more sleep. I mean, more than the ten, or so, ten hours or so you already get. You've always been a sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was. Weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe. Take it easy. You really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Ta-ta! Conversations with your mom! Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. And that's why we'll never truly get along. Just want to never leave bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. Alright, I'm out. See? I relate to this- I, I relate to this- this- this snark cat. More than I should. Alright, out of the way, various creatures, I'm standing on mailboxes. And no one can stop me! I'm all-powerful. And I'm not rooting around through the people's mail, so it's not even a federal offense. As I stand on a fence. Boom! It all ties together. Hey, Summers, are you still depressing? You were great last night. Oh, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I am good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Literally always. This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too. So that works out. Man. I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. Oh, that was it? <laughs> I got mad once. Online. Ultimately, not the greatest of experiences. Would not recommend. I, phys I physically cannot tell you how much I would prefer if that didn't happen. Oh well. That's life for you. Out of the way, raccoons and squirrels. Oh, you guys ain't even talking about nothing interesting. Just being huge nerds. Disgraceful and pathetic. Eh, well there's the pickaxe. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. I'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Granted, that would make you escape from the normal social conventions of society. Which, I will not lie, is a very tempting prospect. Because boy howdy, living life the way you're meant to live life sure is difficult. Lousy societal norms creating the very strict guidelines we're expected to follow 100% of the time, and if you don't, well, then you have a very slim margin of chance of actually succeeding. It's a messed up situation, I assure you. So I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? I'm always ready to party. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Yeah, I guess, huh? I've been hanging with Greg so much, it'll be nice to actually get to know you a little better. I'm pretty great. I assumed. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. I'm smart guy! What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I've verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Which there is very little difference of. <laughs> then again, I don't know. Those are just different states of reanimated dead. Okay, maybe if they're made of ghosty stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghost. <laughs> the episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts, and this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. <laughs> uh, our friendship dynamic is already incredibly delightful. 
We snark and make fun of each other in lighthearted ways. Nice evening. Yeah, it's all right. My mom used to take me up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. As you might imagine. And apparently this line of conversation is boring to Angus. Sheesh. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Oh, that seems extreme. Well, clearly. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. It's a weird old place up here. There's all kinds of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Alright, better get going before it gets dark. But dark is when the prime ghostings happen. Then again, I guess they do call it the witching hour. So I guess it's actually the, pro the proper time for witching, not ghosting. This is a very interesting set of circumstances, Angus. I feel like we need to have a deeper conversation about this. But you're not really talking to me. I'm mean, gonna be honest, I don't really appreciate having to run ahead and talk to you like this constantly just for you to not talk back. I guess, all right, fine. I guess we're supposed to take in the ambiance. Puff, puff. You all right? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Oh, that's unfortunate. Sorry you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Didn't you run in cross country back in junior high? Uh, I mean, I, do you, I mean, did you, did you like maybe bring it? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime clin, I think? Killin? Limes? I like limes. Limestone. You do something with it in there and it becomes the other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures. That's true! That's science fact! Nice, thanks Angus. From millions of years ago, so like, this was all underwater or something at one point. Whoa. No way! <laughs> I only get the greatest and deepest of dialogue options. I mean, rocks don't lie. Like, right where we're standing, there were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history! Badum bow. Okay, I'm ready to go. Let's rock. <laughs> he's full of history and science facts, and he's gonna smack you with them facts. It's a fact smack. That's how it works, man. A second one? But why? Puff puff. Phew! Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No prob. Huff huff. So, if this place was underwater, where'd the water go? Why aren't there, like, ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. I think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on here. There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Alright, ready to go. Cool, cool. Oh, let's go. At a slow, leisurely pace so that I do not inconvenience or damage the health of my friend. Okay, you're officially wheezing. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Ugh. Sorry. Seriously, it's fine. Hang, hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Limestone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. Turns out all of the cool classes get taken real fast. Who does have a thunk it? That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them at least? I know, right? Turns out pretty much all dinosaurs were pretty much just giant birds. They either went extinct or their lineage continued to the point where they became birds today. Chickens share a lot of DNA with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So that's some sort of weird divine punishment there for you. Anyway, big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. Oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time, dude was a very unsuccessful comic book. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Alright. But seriously, dude, anytime you need to take a breather, it's AO 100% pure grade okay by me. You got nothing to worry about. I ain't gonna rush you. Ooh, 
It's gotten all spooky dooky. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. It used to be open back then. Hmm. You ready to go? Not far now. Just up ahead. All right. I kind of like to lead the charge, just in case we reach some sort of, you know, ooga boogaman. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... Let me forget. They were involved in the possum massacre. That, like, labor strike thing? Where it was, like, the Miners versus National Guard? Happened back in town, like, a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys, and some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh. That's dark. But also, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. At the very least, they still buried them and gave them headstones. I mean, that's admittedly more than most people would be willing to do <laughs> to an enemy they dislike. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like colonial times. And I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well, that's spooky. It's just bones. Ancient shark bones. Boom. You see? Nothing left to be scary. Yeah, skeletons are very mad not scary. There's bones, yo. And bones are very easily broken. Well, the majority of them are. <laughs> Humans! We're surprisingly frail. Yeah. Wow. We're up really high. And really far out. I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what? Are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me. You're the expert, Mark. <laughs> I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. It's a very nice night. Are we about to get deep? Have I unlocked your tragic backstory? Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh uh, yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know, all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I could never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something? No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together, and you told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh, well. Maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations. You tell me about them. <laughs> okay. I am all about making fun of all sorts of star constellation thingies. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these gonna be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember, or dreamed that one time. Yuck. Whichever. Okay, let's see here. Huh. I'm gonna be honest, I actually do not know much about constellations. I mean, I know a lot about constellations, but constellations? Now those are a bit different. I know about the Dipper, but if you asked me what stars were the Dipper, and there's like two Dippers! So I don't know. Like, I don't know, is this a dipper? Here's a dipper, I made one. It's a dip. It'll dip ya. What the? What? Come, okay, come on. Oh. They don't, oh, I thought I could just randomly connect these things together and make whatever. Apparently they don't connect if they're not actually like a thing. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him, and he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh... Remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah, I shot it with a crossbow. My granddad used to tell me a Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Liked shiny things, was good at getting through the forest, was really good at stealing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. Arrowed, as Strong Bad would say. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh. Decent. Extremely decent. Fascinating. Alright, well, that's apparently that. Uh, let's see if we can make any other connections here. Alright, that doesn't connect. That connects. Does that connect? It does. 
That's just straight up a triangle. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is the eye? Looking back at you like some kind of eye bell. Okay, that's, uh... I know this one a little from, like, prog rock album covers. I think the world ends when it rings. I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you, maybe? Well, crap. It's high up enough, it's just kind of always looking at all of us, right? God damn. That's a problem. That is one seriously demonic bell. All right, let's find out. Here we go. Oh, that don't work. That don't work. Oh, this is a big one, I guess. Oh, wait, or maybe it's not a big one. Who even knows anymore? Hmm. Um, Let's see. Does this connect to anything? Oh, it does. Do they connect to each other? They do! It's a big old whale! It's a whale. And it's got like the world on its back. It's the world whale. Oh wow, that's sad. Yeah. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. <laughs> yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? I mean, whales are pretty big. But what's the whale swimming in? Space? It's a space whale! We're whalers on the moon! We carry a harpoon! I mean, come on! I guess it's dumb to get mad at ancient people. I mean, they didn't even have Netflix. They had to make their own fun. And sometimes making your own fun involved, I guess, finding patterns and stars and... Subscribing a bunch of random meaning behind all of it, you know? Who even knows what that's about? It's a Pope! He breathes fire! Oh, this one is real! Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, wow. Eh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Do you not know your saints at all? Nah, none of my family were into it. My saints were all, like, uh, astronauts and authors. That sounds really funny. Eh. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. And really, ultimately, that's all you can ask from family. Not, not acceptance, but the willingness to pretend that it doesn't bother you. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know. It's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods. Or psychic powers or anything like that. Not at all? Well, I mean, there is no established history to actually, you know, make any of those, those things make any sense. The world as we know it now doesn't have these things. Why do the world of the past have them and why are they suddenly not things? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me. Oh, that's an immediate red flag. Uh... How bad are we talking, did he not like you? And my mom didn't either. Oh, that's a double whammy. And like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Uh, yeah, that's very important. No, it's fine. Uh, my dad used to hit me a lot. Okay. And my mom was probably worse. Oh, boy, oh, boy, that's... I am really sorry. She, like, wouldn't feed me? Which is why I really like cooking now. She'd like, shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes, or overnight. So I'd like to try to develop psychic powers so I could like, signal the neighbors, or unlatch the door didn't work, as you might guess. That's really sad. Okay. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. 
After a while, I, like, started feeling guilty, too, for some reason. Like, this was something bad I was doing? Oh, no! Oh, no! You got it in your brainscape that bad things were happening to you, and they happened so frequently that you must have deserved them. That's awful! Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all! You were a kid! Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience, I can, I can F some stuff up. Well, my mom is kinda old now. I, uh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother, he's overseas in the army. And my dad left, like, ten years ago. So who knows where he is, or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Oh, man. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. That's a very depressingly fair sentence. As awful as that sounds, yeah, I guess some do experience even worse. That's kind of one of the things you need to try and not think about all the time, otherwise life just feels so dull and gray. I'm just glad I didn't, like... Yeah. Yeah, let's not go down that road. I'm glad, too. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullplop. And it gave me something to solve, something you could debunk or no. I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone deals with all that stuff to you, or does, sorry, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. In both the physical and mental ways, yes. But anyway, yeah. No ghosts or God. So, like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Well, well, so like the constellations. I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I uh, believe the stars exist and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We were good at drawing lines through the space between stars. Like we're pattern finders and we'll find patterns and we like really put our hearts and minds into it. And even if we don't mean to, so, I believe in a universe that doesn't care. Oof. And people who do. Damn, Angus is not only deep, he's emotionally mature as all get out. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like, God found them? Like when they were having bad times, like you did. God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So, like, the stars can stay up there and not give a damn about us. But this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try. But I'm no more than anyone else. I am relating to Angus's words! Just those two lines. Those are actual things I say constantly. Oh my god. Whenever anybody compliments me, instead of denying them like I used to, I just say, well, I do my best, or I try. I should come out here more often. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. In the trees. That there definitely is. Holy crap. Holy crap! What do they look like? Tall, wearing some kind of weird coat. Like a utility coat or something. Oh god. That's the ghost! I'm more worried about it being a living person. Standing in the woods, staring at us. Oh god, oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there! Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did. Hey, no. I saw you. Oh, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma. I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven on earth can stop me. 
Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In, out. All right. Roar! It's a battle cry! You ain't gonna get us, creepy man! Not after we've emotionally bonded! And we're just run, run, running straight to the car! This is the correct course of action. Oh god, he's running down! I wasn't supposed to do that part! He was just standing there! I assumed he was just standing there! Please. <sighs> okay, you okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or, it was uh, some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up? No. That wasn't too far from there. Uh, why does nobody believe me? May, it's like every other explanation is more likely than ghost. Okay, fine, whatever. Sorry. Grouchy. Headache. That was scary. It's cool. It was. Thought. Angus is psychic. psychic, but his hat blocks it. No clues, but Angus saw him too, which is an immediate good sign for us. We're at least not so crazy as to have imagined a strange, creepy man in the woods. Hey, Dad. Hey, you. You okay? Yeah, weird night. Might have almost died. Who knows? You look really worn out. Yeah, I ran a lot. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape, and yet you can still run and jump like a champion, and constantly do. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Okay, go to bed, you. Will do. Oh, why do we never get to watch Garbo and Mel again? You know, just want to watch their silly antics. I still never saw the episode where they went to a cult. I want to see that one. Wow, the one person I would have expected. Hey, B, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. Hell yeah! You got yourself a grilled cheese? A cheese grill? Damn straight, man! That's the life! Went to the park with Angus. How'd it go? It was fun until it was scary. How so? We totally saw the ghost in the woods. Really? Angus saw this? He did! Wow, okay. Hold on, I'm texting Angus. Why? Angus is an annoyingly strided, <laughs> strided atheist. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Why can't you just take my word for it? Hold on. Oh, man. He said it was probably a hunter. Ah! Okay, whatever. Sorry. For what it's worth, I don't not believe you. Thanks. You have a good time otherwise? Yeah, learned a lot about Angus. He's had kind of a rough life. Oh, yeah, he definitely has. Wait, how do you know about this? Uh, because Angus and I have been friends since, like, 8th grade. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're not like the... You're not like the glue holding all of us together. Angus kind of is. He's the common denominator. Me and Greg don't hang out. Huh, Angus is good. He is. Alright, I'm going to sleep. TTYL. What does Greg have to say about all this? He lives with Angus. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Did you and Angus have a good time? Did he not tell you about it? Yeah, it was great. I mean, did he, did he not? Yeah, he did. You guys saw a weird creepo, huh? Yeah, it was the effing ghost again. Hold on. Angus is thinking it was a hunter. Buck season starts in like two days. Oh, what Get the hell? Put him on. KKKKK. Hey, May, this is Angus. Dude, you saw him with your own eyes. I mean, we saw a guy who was being weird, but there are folks that live up there in the park, and there are hunting camps and stuff, so it was most likely a guy out hunting ba uh, buck early. Dude, I, f like, felt it. I know. I don't know what to say about that. I think all three of us were spooked. Okay, fine. Thanks for going and being brave and stuff. Anytime. I had fun. You can put Greg back on. Hey, 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 dude. I am an artiste. 
Were you doing art just now? Sure was. Alright, off to bed. Night, dude. Also, this was- that was not there before. Oh, wait. Hey, mate, this is Greg? You and Angus are talking on my computer? Oh, hey, I'm Angus, so I, I'm so smart. Have a great butt. Blah, blah, blah. You two are talking a lot. Hold on, I'm drawing him a dirty message in the paint program. Well, there you go. <laughs> that would be the answer. I don't know what it even means. Looks like you two are wrapping up. Peace out. Hey, mate, it's Angus. You and Greg are talking. I can at least... <laughs> I can attest that this picture is kind of baffling. Good night. <laughs> oh, good night, Sharkle. Uh, you know, other than the potential of dying, all in all, a good day. Now it is time for the wicked naps, y'all. Get out of here, boots. Hell yeah. Later, taters.